Well, hello, and welcome back to our next installment of Partner Insights with me, Michelle Hodges, Global uh, SVP of Channels and Alliances here at Avanti. I am so pleased to be joined with Paul Kelsey, uh, Head of Sales and Operator and Services uh, at Conf Kifinti. I always get it wrong. I always want to do the whole Kifinity, but at Kifinti. <laughs> um, Paul, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your business and uh, and your relationship with Avanti? Sure. Uh, we've had, uh, well, Kifinti means how are you in Maltese. Oh, uh, it really? Yeah. So we started the company in 2003. John Camilleri, the president and CEO of the company, who is Maltese, uh, didn't want to be another three-letter acronym. So he came up with the name of Kifinti, basically, how are you? And in the business of helping organizations deliver services, we felt it was relevant. Fantastic. Well, Confinti has been a longstanding and incredibly strategic partner uh, uh, of ours. You're from our land desk days and came to us through that acquisition, but have since um, uh, seen great growth through leveraging the rest of our pro platform. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is, is uh, how you think about cross-sell. Um, so you want to tell us a little bit about your, your kind of product or, or solution history with Avanti? Sure. I think it dates back to 96 in the wow. Ben Data days. So we were, uh, the group of us have been together for over 20 years. Basically, we've done nothing else but sell basically Avanti products. The service management was our, our first. Uh, and then we, uh, in I think 2006, uh, partnered up with Landesk. And then that was kind of the genesis of the two main entities that became Avanti. And I think in around 2014 to 17, we got rid of all of our other product portfolios and really doubled down on the Avanti business. And since then our business has really grown and uh, we just continued to double down on the Avanti portfolio because there's, it's so broad and addresses a great section of the market space. We see no reason to partner with anybody else at the moment. Yeah. So that's basically what we do. We are an Avanti reseller integrator and we service, you know, North America market. Oh, fantastic. And so that, that type of cross sell allows for greater understanding in, in the gaps of a customer profile and, and a deeper understanding of your customer needs. Can you help us understand how Avanti helps you address your customer needs and portfolios in this day and age? I think it, for us, when, when we're looking at the portfolio, again, coming from a service management background, things were always very siloed. So you had your service delivery side. Um, and then people had their needs around asset and then they had their needs around security. And these were all essentially siloed initiatives. So what Avanti allows us to do is really have a platform that are, addresses concerns of an organization and really provides us an opportunity to have a platform approach for a single vendor that addresses multiple concerns of the business, everything from service to asset to security. And so that's really what you guys are allowing us to do. And then at the end of the day, all these things are really being delivered in the cloud. So it also allows us to be nimble and efficient and deliver services and deployments much yeah. more quickly than we used to. I remember one of the first times you you heard us talk about, you know, delivering the first ever purpose-built platform for the CIO and the CISO. And I can't remember your exact words. You said, that's exactly my business model. <laughs> um, uh, so it was a, a nice moment of, of synchronicity. Yeah, it is. I mean... Again, people always ask us to, and, and partners have come to us to say, you know, you should resell X, Y, and Z. But the reality is in order to be effective reselling or a solution or selling a solution or implementing a solution, you need to be deep with it and the capabilities. You need to have trust with your partners and you, you really need to have deep implementation skills so that way you can deliver on the stories that you're telling, right? So in, it, for us to effectively do that, it doesn't make sense to spread ourselves across multiple vendors. It makes it, it makes more sense to double down and be more strategic than anything else. Yeah. So we talked about the goodness that comes with a broad portfolio, but when you have that many products, you can you can also risk spending yourself too thin. Uh, in earlier this year, I think towards the end of the first quarter, fiscal quarter, um, we proposed to you and a, another subset of partners uh, solutions and and um, solution bundles or or solution packages. Um, how has that helped you drive a cross-sell conversation with your customers? It really has, in our case, um, simplified the sales process because it wasn't so much that they were 
too broad. It was the fact that it was too a la carte. So in, in order for a customer to realize the value of the Avanti products, they essentially just had to a la carte everything that they wanted to. So the bundling aspects that we started to introduce really, I guess it was late last year uh, for some of your offerings, uh, really simplified the discussion because if somebody really wants to take advantage of the technology, again, starting in the service delivery side, they, the next logical strategy for them is discovery, right? As an example, and it just layers on from there. So to have these bundles that, that execute and combine everything together really simplifies the sales process. And realistically, from a delivery perspective, once things for the most part have moved onto the neurons platform, the delivery of them became much simpler versus, you know, 10 years ago, they were all VMs and separate platforms. So it made it much more difficult. Yeah. So you mentioned the neurons platform, right? Which is our kind of complete solution that allows, uh, uh, allows you to help your cus customers discover, manage, secure, and service their devices wherever they might work um, in a SaaS environment. And we are in the SaaS age. Um, how has your approach to cloud selling um, and SaaS selling um, um, matched to that of your customers um, and where they are in their cloud journeys and SaaS journeys today? Well, I think in our case, we started in 2014, right? Because if you go back to the lineage of Heat Software, it started on that journey in 2014. So basically, since that time, we've been doing nothing but having conversations with clients about uh, migration strategies, how they could adopt it, how they could move. And in a lot of cases, it's, it's twofold. It's a technical execution on the strategy to help them implement the technology. But on one side, it's purely financial. Here's my what I'm paying now for yeah. subscription to my technology. And if I convert to a subscription, here's what I'm going to be paying. So it's it's been something that we've been doing for a long time. Uh, and, you know, everything that we're doing with Avanti now is just really building upon that. Yeah. So I feel like this is a good news, bad news conversation. So good news is. Um, uh, you've got the right services and, and, and competence and expertise. We've got the right products to address the SA evolving SaaS needs of our customers. But we also that also introduces security challenges. Um, uh, it exposes a threat landscape, a SaaS environment um, that, it, that is um, newer for customers in some cases. Um, how do you start that conversation and address that conversation with your customers? Again, I think in our case... <laughs> There's less concern about it. In 2014, uh, when we started to do this, people were really concerned about the security of their data. Um, data residency was a major challenge. Now with data centers around the world, right? Wherever yeah. you're locating your operating businesses, you're already operating them. And the reality is people, uh, I think, have come to the understanding that typically the vendor is operating under a true best practice mode and has certifications and things that they probably wouldn't attain themselves architecture and resiliency that most customers wouldn't have implemented if they stayed on premise, right? So I think there's a general uh, commitment and understanding. I think there's a realization that, you know, um, vendors are going to be targeted, but that is really no different than, you know, being targeted on premise, right? So I, I don't feel like customers are overly concerned. They are concerned. They do audits, they do assessments, but n no more than you know, bringing any other vendor in right, that they would to do an assessment on. Mm, that's good news. So it's good. It's good news. Good news. <laughs> um, when you're working with a customer and, and helping them along their journey to the cloud or to a SaaS environment, um, do you have some kind of, you know, bulletproof advice that you give to them about that process? Is it all about cost? Is it all about security? Where do you kind of focus your selling efforts? Well, it has to go across various elements. So if we, again, start in the service side, uh, typically the conversation is around an opportunity to lift and shift, right? So they don't have to reinvent the wheel just to get back to where they are at, right? So that's, and that's very reassuring to any kind of CIO as, okay, I'd like to move the cloud, but I've made an investment in my technology stack and um, processes, and I don't want to have to spend all this money just to re-implement what I've done. So that addresses a major concern that a lot of folks have. So that allows us to say, okay, 
now as we're making this transition, what incremental things do we want to invest in, right? Do we want to invest in asset? Do we want to invest in discovery? Do we want to invest in things like digital employee experience that that'll help us move the initiative forward? And so those tend to be the conversation and the newer elements of the portfolio that you're offering are just enabling that that vision of a consolidated dashboard versus silo. So it becomes a very simple conversation to have with customers. That's fantastic. Well, I could talk to you all day um, about these things. Um, and I know we've had some long conversations in the past, but in the sake of time, um, I'll wrap things up and, and ask, you know, I just asked for your bulletproof advice about selling, um, but right. the audience that you have here are some of your peers in the industry and um, my peers in the industry. If there's one thing you want to leave them today, particularly around uh, cross-selling and SaaS environments, um, what would you leave them with? I don't know. It's off my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw that on the, on the thing that I'm like, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know from, from knowing you is that, um, that going deep, right. Um, uh, one of the things with, that your customers and our sellers really value about your yes. business is your technical competence, but also how much you understand your customers' challenges, um, uh, and, and how you can help them overcome them. That is correct. I think if there was, if there was one thing that we would give our advice is, um, helping a customer really understand their roadmap and their journey and really understand uh, what they're using of your portfolio, how they're using it and how that equates to a cloud strategy and what they want to do in the future is one of our fundamental big selling pieces and one of the things that we try to get all of our staff to do. And I think it'd be beneficial for, you know, anyone else to, to, to embrace that. Yeah. And that's what make you one of our most strategic partners and, and valuable partners out there. So I thank you for your partnership and for taking uh, time out of the end of the quarter um, to spend with me and to, to go through the, your partner insights. So thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. It was great. Yeah.